In the bustling streets of Highfield, Harare, a seemingly trivial dispute over a mere two US dollars escalated into a horrifying tragedy. This story begins with two friends, Tendaya Hoe and Godwin Matuta, both 39 years of age, whose bond was shattered by greed and violence. Godwin Matuta was a gardener for many years at Tendaya Hoe's residence at number 209 Street, Western Canaan, in Highfield. They were well acquainted and used to share a laugh together constantly. Tendai Hove lived in Canada and had just returned for the holidays, but unbeknown to most, he had become a troubled man using drugs and alcohol. Tendai then asked for two dollars from Godwin to buy beer on the 20th of November 2023, promising to pay him back in a few days. Godwin gave him the two dollars happily, knowing that he was helping out a longtime friend. Unfortunately, Tendai did not keep his word and did not return the money. To some, two US dollars may not be much, but to Godwin, it was a meal considering the economic struggles in Zimbabwe. Godwin was very disappointed and upset that his friend who had appeared to be richer than him did not honor his word. He tried waiting for a few days, but his frustration only grew with time until he decided to confront him. He then went to Tendai's parents' home, knocked on the door, asked to see him, and demanded his money back. Tendai was offended that Godwin seemed to accuse him of being selfish and got angry. The tension escalated, fueled by frustration and resentment. They argued for a while until Tendai decided to get back into the house and Godwin assumed that it was to collect his money. Unfortunately, he was astonished when he saw Tendai leaving the house with an okapi knife. What had seemed like a minor disagreement soon spiraled out of control. In a fit of rage, he then attacked Godwin, stabbed him repeatedly in the arm and in the back. Blood stained the pavement as the friendship dissolved into chaos. Godwin's desperate cries for help echoed through the narrow alleyways as the neighbors gathered around to a bloody crime scene. They rushed Godwin to the nearby hospital, but unfortunately it was too late. His life slipped away before reaching the hospital, leaving behind a grief-stricken family. Tendai fled the scene, but justice caught up with him. The police swiftly apprehended him and he now faces the consequences of his action. He has since appeared in Harare Magistrate Court for murder and is in custody awaiting trial. This story is a somber reflection on how seemingly insignificant disputes can lead to irreversible tragedy. Tendai Hove's name will forever be associated with the senseless loss of life, a stark reminder of the fragility of human relationships. May Godwin's soul continue to rest in peace.